G'day guys. Um, I'm not sure if TikTok saves the start or not. But in case it does, introduction, we're out here in New Zealand. This is nature behind me. This is our painting. Um, and my timing could not have been worse <laughs> because it has literally just started raining. But, hey Ree, how you doing? Um, it's literally just started raining, Ree, which is wild. So, but look, I'm no quitter. We got set up out here um, and we're going to give it a crack. With the main perk being we're painting with oils, so it doesn't matter if the canvas gets wet. We will survive. Um, yeah. Yeah. I do too much dry brushing anyway, so it'll be improvement to uh, have everything wet. It'll be fine. Oh no, not ideal. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, nah, it's the elements. We'll live. We'll live. Let me get this whole area here. This whole thing. It is definitely going to pour down. That's all right. We will survive. <laughs> what we will do, though, is we'll take off some of that, like this. If you're wondering, the image that we're painting today, excuse how weird everything's getting, is this. So we've got a lovely lady and she's got a horse with one of the coolest coats I've seen, but it's a patchy coat, gingerish and white, and then there's this wood background behind her. So what's gonna be really cool about this painting is that uh, the background actually has the most contrast and changes in it, and so, We'll put attention on the horse and the lady, but we're gonna put a lot of time into making sure that background has all those textures and that fun. Um, and see if we can't make something special out of it. Um, yeah, and when we do dive into the uh, lady and the horse, we'll be doing some very contrasting lines to define them rather than a million little tones. So it could be fun. It could work really well. Who knows? I'm excited to find out. What are you painting, mate? G'day, James. Um, Lady with a horse. And I like that. I like painting animals. Um, you can sort of disassociate from this is a leg, this is a face, this is a nose, this is a what have you. And you can actually just enjoy the shapes and contours that the animal has. So that's fun. Anyway, let's move on to such so a saying, guys. If you look at this here, this is oil paint, so this is currently covered in water, but it's all good because since it's oils, it's untouchable. It's like running off water from a duck's back, except it's water from oils. Ever painted overseas? Have I ever painted overseas? I have painted overseas, but um, I like it here in New Zealand. Uh, the nature's beautiful, the air's fresh. The, uh, what else has got going for it? New Zealand's home. I like home. Big, big fan. All right, let's get this show on the road.
Bro dressed for TT, not. I don't know what that means, but that's my own fault because I'm not very cool. But uh, no, we, we dress for it. I find if you dress smart, you can paint smarter. Um, so I like to dress in nice clothes because it makes you paint smarter, in my opinion. Oh, cool. Just told me I can flip the screen so the comments come bigger. That's me. I'm a huge fan of that. Drew Bliss, they make him tough in New Zealand. Um, I mean, I'm out here painting, I'm not sure it's all that tough, but I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, the only issue I'm running into right now is that VVVV I, I, I might be able to counteract it if I stand it just a little bit straighter Might get away with it If not I have got a garage, but I love the fresh air. I just want to breathe fresh air, not be in a garage painting. I think that's a, that's a reasonable thing to want. Too nice to be on the grass painting. Yeah, it's fair enough. Um, do you sell your work at all? I do sell the work, um, but the website is currently getting a rejig. So I'll make a big song and a dance once I have it up. But the thing that's slowing me down at the moment is the niggly little thing like a shipping calculator so what trying to figure out shipping costs to other areas because all the artwork weighs different amounts and uh there's different sizes so we're getting there we're getting there on average how long to finish a piece uh it depends on the piece if we go more abstract we can get it done really fast and if we go more um yeah depends on the piece okay, I'm this one yeah. Um, so, typically most of the work you see on Instagram and TikTok though, it's anywhere between 5 hours and 5 to 15 hours. I think artwork's the best at about the 7 hour mark. I reckon that's really when it hits its straps. We're in New Zealand, this is Bay of Plenty. That there is a punga from Bay of Plenty. So that's fun.
<laughs> Max bench. I don't really do uh, big benching anymore. I'm not. I wish I did. I wish I did. I'm a baby. Just a big softy. Hi, how are we doing? Uh, we're currently painting first layer and it's a lady with a horse. And so the idea is we'll throw down some wild colors all over the show to start with. And then, because since the painting's mainly background, it's a forest behind it, we need a ton of textures. A ton of textures will mean that actually the background has a life of its own rather than putting all the attention on the foreground. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, it's fun. Um, sounds like bird. it is. It is. If you're not from New Zealand, there's a yellow hammer. It just went off in that direction. There's a tui down there. That's the one that sounds like a broken record. Like a that was a yellow hammer. That was a. Don't know what that is. Tui sparrow couple of New Zealand birds all over the show, a couple of things. Um, what have we got here? We're in New Zealand, we're in Bay of Plenty. Bay of Plenty which is two hours south of Auckland and if you look at New Zealand you've got the top island and the little bottom island. Go to the top island, go to the middle and we, let's go to the middle of the top island and go straight up till you hit a beach and that's Bay of Plenty. Love the palette? Yeah. It's oil, so it well, doesn't drip, so you can chuck it on a bottle like this. And I like it, because you can spin it in your hand to sort of get what you need. Yeah, yeah, this is true. And if you've got a bit more, uh, if it's a bit more of a party session, you could probably have the bottle with a cork in it and have it a bit full as well. That'd be fun. Johnny, we're in the Bay of Plenty. South America, welcome. South America. Is that, did I read South America? Or South Africa? Wait, I'm in South Auckland. No, I completely misread that. South Auckland. I was in Papakura yesterday, actually, at the um, Stampede Bar. That was fun. How are you, mate? How's the fam? Fam's good. Everyone's happy. Do you know how to do different bird calls? No, I don't. No, my uh, grandfather was really good at that sort of stuff, but... Um, Myself, no. I think you gotta, you gotta really live and breathe nature to really be able to imitate all the different kinds of birds. Super master, Bay of Plenty, mate. Um, particular area is Tauranga. Is that two ways? You can say Tauranga, or you can say Tauranga. Both are sort of, both are right. It's all good. Taranaki, welcome. You're lucky you've got a Cobb Co in Taranaki, a uh, New Plymouth Cobb Co. Yum. What are you painting? Lady with a horse, but undercoats? Undercoats are always messy, so. Basically all we're doing at the moment is seeing where we see shapes and tones and then just adding the texture on. And the reason we do that is because then later on, when we come back and do more finer detail and add in bold colors, there's this underlying texture to work with rather than just a blank board or a canvas. Um, and you want that because if it's just a single layer, you miss out on a lot of the fun that you can have from looking at the painting for a longer period of time. Thank you, Al. I didn't get the whole name there. Kibble White, I appreciate that. Um, I used to live in Tauranga, how is it? Well, it's a terrible day at the moment, but I don't think it's gonna stay this way because I see light over there, and I suspect the rain might stop, and if it stops, that would be fantastic. But if it doesn't, we'll persevere with the paint we've got here, and then I'll jump out 
go to the garage and uh, continue. So we're not going to let a little rain stop me from having fun. You always fly there? That's mean. You're a pilot or you're a busy man? One of the two. Or later. Ash is a good name because it can go for both genders. It's a good name. Ash is like Alex like that. Key thing too, guys, if you're starting out with some layers, um, it can be hard because you want to make the painting perfect from the start, but the start is actually where you have all your fun. Don't don't lose that fun by doing all these guidelines. Just have fun slightly painting on the canvas and building up some layers. It can get correct later on. It'll all just fall into place. Um, but if you start a canvas strangling it, trying to make it what you want, the whole process is going to be painful. You might not enjoy it as much as you could and honestly a lot of this stuff will just be texture underneath the canvas because the rest of it will get covered up by additional layers of paint so there's that to think about oh i get to <laughs> cheers justin um have you ever designed a tattoo i have designed tattoos um but that was back in high school and that was with an ink pen um really good fun actually I'd do that again in a heartbeat. Um, and I have been looking at getting a tattoo, but it's just finding the time. And then you book the appointment, you get the tattoo with someone you trust and their artwork they like, their artwork you like, and then you end up uh, having to look after it and wrapping it and keeping up the sun and things. It sounds like a lot. I want to do it, but it's a lot. I think you're insanely brilliant. Your art is incredible planning on buying a piece at some point that's awesome that's awesome um yeah and once the website's up it'll be a whole lot easier because the shipping the artwork and everything will all be right there um wherever, wherever you live in the world what we do is we put the art i say what we do what i do is i put the artwork in a really protective box and that's cool because if you have room you want to keep the box it's a really good quality box and you can if you move house if you want to move it somewhere else, if you want to do put it in storage for a while because maybe it doesn't fit your room, whatever, um, you can just put it in the box and it's protected, slide it under the bed, sorted. So that's really cool. What birds can you hear? I thought I, you did hear a tui bird. Yes, there is a, there's about two of them out here at the moment. They love being up here. Um, always smashing your flax and uh, lots of pahutakawas. They like pahutakawa trees. What inspires you to paint and your motivation? That's a big question. A lot of things, but um, I think you get a lot of pleasure, or I get a lot of pleasure, from other people getting pleasure. And when people get artwork and they love it, and you can see it's actually improving them or their lives or anything like that, there's a huge feeling of satisfaction from that. And uh, I don't think it's just painting. If you've got a craft, you could be a jeweler, you could be a sportsman, you could be a, uh, a lawyer, a banker, a, a doctor. If you've got a craft that you can do that provides pleasure for others, that's a really fulfilling thing to be a part of. <laughs> Cheers, Paige. Appreciate you. Um, the Beethoven piece. Yeah, the Beethoven piece was a really cool one. That was for a uh, that was for a lady named Erica. Um, And Erica's amazing. Um, we still chat via emails. She sends me um, stuff. Um, she's, she's amazing. She loves that piece. There was two pieces that went to her. It was the Ludwig Beethoven and the uh, No Name, the expression piece. And um, yeah, she's going to send me some pictures soon of what they look like up on her wall and things. But um, I, <laughs> I knew those pieces were finished. Um, or that they would, I knew they were at the right place because I didn't want to send them. I, like there was this bad part of me in the back of my mind, like I could just refund her and like, these could be mine. And then you're like, 
if you're thinking that, if that's going through your mind, that you literally want to give the client back their money so you can keep the art, that's when you know you've hit the right point and you've got, <laughs> and that artwork's ready to leave the shop because that's, that's where you want to be. When every time you give out a piece, you feel like you're losing a bit of yourself, that's where you want to be with the art. I should paint the bottle. Um, what I've always thought of doing actually is after you've finished using the bottle and the paint's all a mess on it, actually getting some epoxy, like liquid glass, and wrapping the bottle with it so that way it's all shiny and coated. But I haven't done it yet. It's raining, but it's clearing. It's clearing. I'm going to be soaking wet, but it will clear in time. I've never done a self-portrait. I I would, but I, I like painting other people. I love capturing someone else's expression. I think it'd be weird doing myself. We are in New Zealand. Is this a commission piece? It's not a commission piece. It's a fun piece. Um, so, but I like, fun pieces are fun. Um, someone asked me to do it, but it is a piece for fun. So, the idea behind it is, 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 it's the third horse picture, first horse related, that horde, horse related picture I've ever done. Um, but I like it. I like horses. I like painting horses. I think they're fun. They're majestic animals. They're covered, they're absolutely belted with muscle. Um, and they have great scenery behind them all the time. Like this one's got some great um, forestry. So that's fun. That's always fun. <laughs> well, I'm jealous of Napier. Good for you. This is Todonga. Giving me the notebook vibes. The notebook vibes. I think I saw that movie back in the day. I need to watch that again. He builds a house, doesn't he? Um, yeah, Bay of Plenty is amazing. Do you like wolves? I do like wolves. I got the opportunity to see some wolves in Yellowstone National Park. Um, we were told they were really rare. And then while we were there, one wolf had the audacity just run across the road and then run out there into the wilderness we saw him for a good one and a half minutes just running he was just on the move didn't have a pack with him he was just on the move it was wild uh, we are painting trees but not those trees we're painting other ones which is wild we can relocate we can <laughs> i'm in rotorua we should paint together sometime that's a cool thought um, I actually just joined up into a outfit called the Art Collective, which is in Auckland. And what they do is they have a space and you rent a space in it um, and you paint with a bunch of other artists. Um, and that's, I spent a lot of time up in Auckland and so I want a little space up there. So I was going to paint in the Bay of Plenty and paint up there. And when you're up there, if the weather's not too good, Rain's fine, but the wind, oh my lord, if it's windy. I made that TikTok the other day, and it was so windy. Like, I I was going to make it, like, kind of a cool TikTok. <laughs> and I was like, you can't leave out the amount of facts, the amount of, the amount of times that the canvas has tried to blow over because of the wind. Like, I must have caught it about nine to ten times. It was the dumbest idea to go out painting. But I was in the mood, and there was a nice beach, and I thought, just go for it. But that was... It wasn't my finest moment. Wind kills you. Neighbour is the only place where if it rains, it's extraordinary. <laughs> well, I might be going to Napier. I'm around Mangare and the weather here is up and down. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. It is a woman kissing a horse, but you won't be able to, like, if you saw it from this, then you've got eyes like an absolute hawk. Because right now, we're not really acknowledging the woman or the horse. We're focusing on the textures that we see in the background. And, and so all the strokes want to be really wild because in the following layers two and three, we'll actually come in there and put the correct colors and the correct stuff over the um, texture. And so you'll have these, so you sort of need to see a painting that does it so to fully understand it but if you've seen it that's cool but imagine there's these textures which have the overall movement and shape underneath the actual colors and form and so you've got 
you've got the painting working on two levels. You've got it working with textures, but the textures are not matching the final colours on the top. And so you can appreciate it um, from different angles with different lighting. And that's why painting gets cool compared to having a digital version of it. Because the digital version, you've got one flat copy, but with the painting going all over the show from, you know, you look at it from a different angle and the lighting captures all the textures differently and you see something new, that's cool. That's why it would exist physically. And if you didn't have that, um, you know, an NFT of it or a picture of it, it's just as cool, really. So I like to use texture. I think that's the future. I'm in Dunedin, moved to Auckland 2020. I'm from Dunedin, moved to Auckland 2020. Yeah, I love Dunedin. I went there for university. That was a fantastic time. I wasn't so much a party animal, but I made some of the best friends of my entire life and huge fan of all of them. Of all of them. Saw them the other day at a wedding and full cut. If you get the paint on your clothes, how do you get it out? Um, depends on the paint. If it's oil paint, I would, I mean, depends how quality the shirt is, but I just about give up. Um, they sell really good paint removal supplies at art stores, which is like, um, which is like brush cleaner and stuff. And sometimes a good brush cleaner um, does the trick. I've used turpentine, but you can lose color in the clothing if you use turpentine. So be careful with that. A good soapy thing does the trick. My mother actually showed me, she had a good old school bar of soap. And if you just rub it with a bar of soap, and scrub it a little bit, you can get paint out of it without actually um, damaging the fabric or stretching it. Late Feb, mean. Well, is that heading to New Zealand or heading to Auckland or heading to Bay of Plenty? Wherever it is, welcome. They're all amazing places. Do you have your work on your IG page? There's some work up there, but um, hold fire because I am so close, so close to having the website up and running. It's just the shipping calculator which is slowing me down. But I will get there, I promise. Give me like another 72 hours. <laughs> and then the artwork will be up there and I've got blurbs for the artwork so you can like, uh, like, it won't just be a picture, you'll be able to see, oh okay, this is what he was trying to do, this is what he likes about it. And I'll be honest too, I won't do a big sprawling thing. It'll say what I don't like about it, where we nailed it, where we didn't nail it. And so you can sort of get a real, a real picture of of each piece because yeah I think the one piece where I really felt I wouldn't change a single piece of paint there'd be two of them two of them actually there'd be two there'd be, there'd be Ludwig Beethoven that one there when I finished that I really felt that I really felt I wouldn't change a piece of a single stroke on that piece. I really felt happy with that. And the other one's Clint Eastwood. That one there is just, you have to see it in person. It's a really special piece. It's taller than me. And it's a giant picture of Clint's face just zoomed up. And yeah, I don't know. There's something about that piece that I just love as well. Those two. And all the other pieces are great. I love every one of them. But sometimes I see one stroke of paint. I'm just like, I want to move you to the left a little bit or a little bit to the right. I look at Clint, I'm just like, you're perfect. I like you just the way you are. Everything's perfect. <laughs> Can't wait. Yeah, it will, it will come. It will come. Um, what's it saying? It's, oh, TikTok's giving me notifications. I see. I'm still getting the hang of live here, guys. You've got to bear with me. Because um, my go-to when I was starting out was Reddit. So I was on Reddit splashing around paint on the live streaming service they had and that was really really fun so that was in a garage in Christchurch in the South Island and a garage in Dunedin in the South Island a couple of years back and uh, yeah I wouldn't take back those times for the world that was amazing that was so much fun if you work thanks Jay Hi from Dunedin. Dunedin's amazing. Heading to Dunedin for uni. Anna, you're going to have the most amazing time. Um, yeah, it's amazing. And one thing that uh, I couldn't recommend more, get involved with all the activities, like the things that All Stars doing. Dunedin's got the best uh, student association, and they do some amazing things. And you can get caught up thinking Dunedin's just a party town, but actually 
there's so much more going on. Like there was our um, friend group. We had a bunch of people doing uh, free running, like uh, parkour through Warsaw. We had a bunch of people learning French. We had a bunch of people involved in like local groups and community things. And actually it was super wholesome and a lot of fun. So it's not all about drinking. You can do a lot of other fun stuff down there. I didn't grow up in Dunedin. Would have been cool too. Would have been all about it. Red Frog. I don't know what Red Frog is, but I'm excited for you. Free pancakes? I'm also excited for free pancakes. I had a uh, machine when I was younger that made waffles. And you could put the waffle mixture into the things, close the lid. When you lifted it, there were two penguins. And they were little, they're called woodles, and they had a hollowed out tummy. And so you could put the ice cream scoop in their tummy and then have that. Wasn't all that healthy, but uh, you know what? I liked it. I don't know where that Woodle machine is now though. I would assume gone to the wind. But I don't know if I'd even use it anymore these days, guys. I'd probably default to. Um, I like porridge for breakfast, to be honest. It's easy. It's easy. It's a lot of nutrients and oats. Keeps it simple. I love simple. Brian Sharp. I'm not sure who Brian Sharp is, but that's... They go into uni halls, etc. I just missed that comment, sorry guys. They go into uni halls and socialise. Um, I'm not sure who goes into and go to parties to make sure they're okay. That's what Red Frogs do. Oh, that's mean. Alright, I didn't know they were a thing. Um, yeah. In terms of for us, we, we didn't really... Like, our friend group didn't really... We didn't party that hard. Like, oh, we had, we had fun, but we weren't going wild like we heard stories about. Um, we were just doing our thing. And that was just... Uh, wholesome. Wholesome. He's... You know, yeah, I'm studying art, and me and my boyfriend have a nice apartment for us both, and I hope it goes well. Nice. Nice. Um, if you're studying art down there, are you doing art history or are you doing visual art at the Polytech? Um, the art history course is amazing. Um, I was down there doing art history and um, theory of art down there while doing some papers at the Polytech too. And the lecturers are all fun. The studios are amazing. The Yeah, it's a great place. If you're doing art theory, you've nailed it. That's a great place to go. So, from a random stranger in New Zealand, you have my gold stamp of approval. So that's fun. If you're just joining and you're wondering why this painting looks so wild and woolly, um, and sorry if you heard it before, I'll just say it quickly again, we're adding textures down. So why do we want textures? Because textures are fun to see under the final coat. And that's what we're up to. So that's nice. Oh, sorry guys, <laughs> it just updated. 
I wasn't ignoring you, my phone glitched. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was like, that's weird, no one's commenting. Hope everyone's okay. <laughs> my bad. Um, I'm at the Me Too part. Um, what the fuck? Oh, I shouldn't have said that out loud, that's so rude. Looks like it's raining, it is raining, but we've committed, so we're here now. Um, this is how I spent my days. <laughs> that's fair enough. He's definitely freezing. Nah, I love uh, cold um, environments. I don't handle the heat well, actually, but cold, that is all good by me. I love summer. I do love winter. Winter all good. Winter all good. <laughs> Thanks guys. Yeah, the uh, the laugh that I have can be pretty problematic sometimes. Um, I've got a new nephew. And, not a nephew, I've got a, my best friend had a baby. And now the baby laughs when it hears me laugh. But when it was first born, like it's from zero to one, it would cry when it heard me laughing, it would just start bawling, just like a loud, obnoxious noise, but um, now it likes it, but it was a problem at the start. We are in the Bay of Plenty, so this is the Bay of Plenty, and the, uh, this is Tauranga, Paispa, Paispa. Yeah, I'll try not to, I don't think I will, I think we'll be alright. Um, oh no, are we arguing? He started it. I hope not. I don't think we're arguing. Let's all just be friends. I love your share painting. Hey, thanks, Ree. Um, I'm a huge fan of that one as well, actually. Um, I like how it's, there's some areas that sort of start to look like they've got elements of realism in them, and then it just falls back into abstract at different parts. I like that sort of chopping and changing. That's fun. <laughs> oh, I got, okay, I got you down, Justin. I thought there was some sort of argument going on. And I was like, ah, oh, I missed it. I wasn't I wasn't paying close enough attention. I was trying to, but I kept trying to paint at the same time. What an idiot. It is raining. It's not snowing, but it is raining. Look guys, I'm a bit of an idiot. I didn't check the weather report. You should always do that if you're gonna paint outside. And uh, I set up everything. I say set up everything. I put the easel outside, I put the picture on the easel, and I set up my paint. And after I'd done that, it started pouring down. And I'm like, well the phone is waterproof, and we've sort of set everything up, so we're just going to go for it. And it's oil paint, so it doesn't run, so it's fine. It is what it is. <laughs> um, which part are you from? We are in the Bay of Plenty. So that's fun. Yeah, people are looking at me they're wondering what I'm doing in the rain. But we are here. And you know what? I reckon I'm going to keep going. It's all good. The one thing I can't do though, guys, is I probably can't fly the drone in the rain. Because normally I like to do a little lap with the drone. But uh, that's not going to happen. My drone's pretty cheap and it doesn't like rain. Uh, we're painting a lady with her horse, but you won't see it. Um, because, 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 we're building up textures. So, um, don't get hung up on what a picture looks like at the start. That's the problem too. A lot of the time you could jeopardize a piece of artwork because you get so caught up um, trying to make it look good the whole way through that and that's not how art works art comes into fruition in the last sort of three out of ten layers and the temptation is when people are watching you is to make it look good from layer one and that's like that's like a that's like a butterfly trying to make its cocoon look pretty is that just just 
just do the process. Don't get hung up on certain pieces. I think that was a terrible example. No, it wasn't bad. I just said it really badly. Um, paint me like one of your friends. Yep, that's a... <laughs> haven't heard that one before. <laughs> Why are you landscape painting without a painting without painting the landscape um, I like this shape of canvas because it hmm, I like this because I like framing this shape I like I like I like landscape shape paintings um, I like it better because if it's too high I have to bend down a lot and then go high but if it's wider it's easier to paint so it's <laughs> guess I'm an old man it's easier on your back <laughs> If not painting, what would you do? I would become a skydiving instructor. That sounds sick. I'm all about that. Seb, hello. <laughs> I haven't heard a single word you said. I've been trying to speak clearly. Um, I've been doing my very best, but. It might be the accent. The accent can do it. So one thing about this painting, and you probably couldn't can't see it, but the horse and the lady are only through this part. It's like a little bend through here of them. Everything else is actually trees and bush. And so to stop the painting from looking boring, looking boring, that's the wrong thing. To stop the painting from having a whole bunch of negative space that we're not using, we're gonna have to add a lot of texture into those trees. So the trees are like a um, something to enjoy in themselves so you can look at the painting you can appreciate the horse you can appreciate the girl there's beauty in that but then you need to be able to that you need to be able to look and appreciate the background and really really be able to look and see trees see textures see nature and then that's gonna be what pulls beauty out of the painting when you can appreciate not only the characters but the environment that they're in so that's what we're up to and I'm so sorry if I missed some comments there um, I, is he, oh I'm not on Twitter I'm so sorry yeah no 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 I yeah I love the cold cold is my thing and like I said before though guys I was should have read the weather report did not so we're out here painting it was raining worse before actually um, but look, we're already wet, so we're just gonna we're gonna ride this one out. Um, I will move into the shed later, though. Um, it's a studio, but it's a shed before it was a studio, so I call it a shed. It is still warm. It's like what temperature would I give it? It's actually it's actually fairly humid, to be honest. What paints are we using? Um, because it's raining, this is oils. So, it'll be fine. Um, if it was acrylics, <laughs> I'd have to go inside. It would be a mess. This whole thing would just be dripping onto the ground. Um, yeah, no, so we're using, we're using oils. And now the oils, yeah, the water gets in the way a little bit, but it still wins. So, that's all good. I can't hang that on my wall. Uh, probably not. I wouldn't let you. I need another, do another nine or ten layers on it. So, gotta give me time. Here we go. Happy days. I'm intrigued to see what the finished product. <laughs> Thanks, Ree. Um, yeah. But yeah, if you are doing painting, guys, don't get hung up on the early layers. I can't stress that enough. You can really strangle a piece of artwork if you think it needs to look proper straight away. Um, so,
after I finish this layer too, we'll come back um, at about 11 p.m., 12 p.m., 12, uh, 12 a.m. tonight, um, and but we'll be inside. It's raining heavily. A large tsunami will hit the west coast sometime between. That's helpful information. Um, that is helpful information. Tsunami. Um, I actually went surfing for the first time in my life about, what was it? A month ago now. It's pretty cool. Good for my back. I didn't realize that. I thought I'd find the uh, actual catch of the waves the most fun. I enjoy chasing waves because you lie on the surfboard, so your back sort of goes like that and while you're surfing. Sorry, while you're paddling. It was really good for my neck. So that was fun. Um, because if you haven't noticed, I've got a very long neck. And so lay on the surfboard with it up like that. It was really good for my posture. I'd definitely do that again. How long to finish a canvas? Uh, probably around... How long? Depends. I reckon the best ones take about seven hours. Seven hours is about three or four layers. Um, and if we miss... So if I'm going at it, but it's just not quite coming together, we can get up to sort of 10, 15 hours. So I sort of, yeah, anywhere between five and 10 hours is all good. Mm. I'm missing a few of these things from trying to read, but it bumps it every now and again. I'm an artist too from Norway. You paint mountains, that's awesome. That is pretty cool. Uh, is it snowing or raining? It's it's raining, but um, I'm lucky it's not snowing because that would be cold. But it's actually quite warm here. It's actually quite warm, which is big win. So we are getting soaked, but at least we're not freezing. So that's a perk. How tall am I? Um, not all that tall, actually. To be fair. Um, I think my brother's six foot and he's taller than me, so I'm probably like five something, is my guess. Yeah, I reckon that sounds about right. I haven't measured myself in a while. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm I'm trying to keep up, I swear. 5'3"? No, I'm definitely taller than that. No, put me at about 5'10", five, 5'11". Five, five, it's just, it's like, it's like just under. Like an inch under six foot. So if I got some little elevator shoes, I could pop up over it. And that'd be cool. <laughs> I will make you soup. Um, that's a very tempting offer. Soup sounds great. Huge fan. Huge fan. <laughs> Alright. I think I was wrong about that little gap of light coming through. It's just turned into more rain and more rain. Do you work with other mediums? Acrylics? Charcoals and oils. I like oils the most because I love saturated color. Um, I would definitely. Eh, nah, oils and acrylics. They're both good. They're all good. We're in Bay of Plenty. Um, I. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. Um, landscapes or people? Which do you like? I like people. I like people, and the reason I like people is because um, there's a lot to capture in a face. Faces are fun to paint. Faces are fun to paint. Um, that's probably... Hmm, that'll be enough texture there, guys. What I'll do is give me... Oh, is it enough? Yeah, it's enough. We'll pause there, I reckon. Um, oh, we'll use up the last of the paint. It's a waste of time not using it. 
We'll add in more texture. It's all good, it's all good. Keep it coming. Otherwise the paint just goes to waste, so. What painting is that? It's a, uh, you won't be able to tell at the moment because we are just building up texture on the base. But um, it's going to become a lady in the forest with her horse. And I love, love, love showing off this part because if you're an artist or you're a painter or you're doing or making stuff you can get hung up on making on thinking that the whole process needs to be beautiful and that's not true um, when you start it does look ugly and messy and textured and stroppy and abrupt and what will happen over time is beauty will come out of it but you have to start with a messy space the best paintings I've done have looked the messiest at the start, so this is good. Because if you're watching this and thinking, that looks terrible, um, you might come back when we come to one of the later layers and be like, oh wow, okay, he wasn't talking all that much nonsense. Or you'll be like, oh my god, he's still wrong, that looks terrible. I don't know. Who knows? You're welcome to your own opinion, and I love you for it. How do you keep your hair so... <laughs> it's actually receding. Um, so, it looks nice, but um, I can see it coming back here and here. I'm terrified, so that's life. Art is so much different expressions. Yes, it is. Have you ever heard of Stephen Brown? Scottish painter. I haven't, but I will look him up. Stephen Brown. No one is, I don't quite understand that one. Are you standing on an angle? Um, the camera's is on an angle. I think I'm standing straight at you. I'm not sure. Um, I think I'm following, but hello. Um, yeah, I'm trying to keep up with the comments, but I'm a, I'm not one of those speed readers, and so I'm reading like a little bit of it and then getting lost and then trying to catch up, then losing it again, and then thinking, oh, I should put some paint on this, and then trying to come back here, and I'm, <sighs> I'll do better, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, is it snowing? <laughs> it's not snowing. Um, it's just raining, but it's actually quite humid. So it's all good. This is the Bay of Pliny. Um, lots of kiwi fruit orchards, punga trees weird kiwis doing paintings you know you get a bit of everything it's all part of the fun adding in here there we go Drain Dunedin as well. That's wild. There are very different. Oh, I missed that. Um, oh my god. Are you related to Peter Gow? I'm not. Sounds like a great guy. Yeah, it is raining. Hey, uh, hey guys. Um, the UK accent is quite distinct. Yeah. So is the Kiwi accent. Um, well, Kiwi and Australian. The sort of sound. Fairly similar. Fairly
some sweet day you find out and the world can leave you this way. That bit of here, oh my god, is it dangling down? Sorry. It's the rain. It's the rain. Do you sell your paintings? I do sell the paintings. But um, you've got to be patient with me because the website's down right now and I'm trying to get it fixed. Well, not fixed. I'm trying to get the uh, shipping calculator to work properly. But it's taking a little bit longer. So give me like another 72 hours and then I'll have a link on TikTok into the uh, website. But right now it's sort of playing up a little bit. Uh, we are painting a lady with a horse, but you won't be able to see it. Sorry, because like I was saying, it's messy. It's messy. The first layers are always messy. Embrace it, have fun, make a mess out of it. And then later on, bring the painting into detailed kilter and color. But to start with, just throw paint at it. Just enjoy textures. I used to start off paintings getting real uh, excited about making sure every drop of paint went in the right place and the issue you run into is you end up covering up that early layer with more layers and more colours and so there was no point putting in so much angst into making sure every colour hit the right spot um, when all it ended up doing was adding those underlying textures. That would have been more fun had you been more free and enjoyed yourself more. So there's that. The rain does not affect it because this is actually a waterproof hardboard. Um, it's like an old school method of painting and it's oil paint. So the rain's niggly, but it's not a problem. It's not a game changer. You're scared I'm going to get sick. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I do love the cold though. I actually uh, was stargazing the other night. Um, out here and it was a cold night and I fell asleep and I woke up and I was sick I was like oh, that was done um, I was just in shorts and a t-shirt and honestly we'll do it again um, really fun stargazing but uh, yeah the 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 hindsight was 2020 there Good for you, out of the rain. Cold is so much better than the hot. I agree, I agree. Um, he can paint in the rain. What town is in? This is uh, Tauranga. I think, I'm sort of following. There's snow where I, that's so cool. I'm a big fan of that. Stargazing with snow. Huge fan, huge fan. One thing I really want to see is the Northern Lights one day. I know it's basic, but uh, I'd love to see those in the flesh, just in the sky. That would be fun. Dream location to set up and paint. Um, oh, that's uh, you can see a horse because there is a horse. That's wild. That is incredible of you to spot that. There shouldn't be a horse yet. There should just be textures. But if you've seen a horse, then you are well ahead of the game. Um, there should. We're only yeah focusing on. perceptive you might start seeing the painting coming out but that's like expert level vision so that's all good um 
the D D D D D D best place to go for a paint. I mean, here's pretty good. Painting with people is always really fun. You've got a good group of people. They can really make the painting occasion magical. All right, guys. If anyone was uh, a woman petting a horse, you were doing an incredible job. That's actually exactly what's here. Um, this is abstract. Abstract at the start, Ashley. So we start off with it really messy textured and abstract and then as we do more layers we can sort of pull out more detail add the correct colors and see where it takes us but yeah starting a painting abstracts part of the fun of painting because you get to be loose you get to be free you need to pick off with just having more fun um if you're still it all the way perfect every time it can be exhausting it can be exhausting you know the worst thing about today though whole painting experience and everything we're doing. I made myself a cup of coffee and it was a good cup. It was made with instant coffee, Makona, and I put boiling water in it and so it was finished. It was, yeah, it was a great cup of coffee. It had glimmer on top because I put in just the right amount of things. It was just the right temperature. That temperature. I brought it out here. I put it on the ground. I put paint on my palette. I picked up my paint brushes and I kicked it over. And now I've just got the cup which is a constant reminder of the coffee I could have had. <sighs> Breaks my heart. Breaks my heart. But anyway, that's what I'm looking forward to. So once I've finished this texture layer, I'm going to go inside. I'm going to go inside. I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Because I feel like I've earned it. Oh, I missed that. There was a question mark there. How does one not... <laughs> I don't even know what that term means. I'm not cool anymore. I never was cool. Um, but, yeah. So many terms being thrown around these days. One that I learned recently, I learned one because a meme showed up on my Facebook, which was like, it was like a picture of the guy from Captain America, Captain America, Chris Evans. Is that his name? I've got no idea. Picture of him on a keyboard turning around, and it was like, when you don't know what something means that everyone's saying, and it was like, uh, what does no cap mean or something? Turns out no cap means no line. <sighs> Learned that about half a week ago. So, not in the in crowd. Um, what do we got here? Lord, they don't... <laughs> Using Facebook means you're past your prime. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. I actually, I probably use Instagram more. Um, I like Instagram. I like the pictures in it. I like the messaging service. <clears throat> um, Facebook Messenger is just a disaster. I mean, I'm sorry, Mark. You're doing a good job. Mike, Mark? Mark Zuckerberg. I'm sorry, Mark. You're doing a great job on all those things. But Instagram's like, compared to Facebook Messenger, I know he owns them both, but Instagram's better. You can do more fun things. You can... Uh, yeah, Instagram's more fun to message on. But if you've ever had your account on Instagram hacked, that's the worst. That's just really hard to get it back. Um, never had it happen to me, but it had it happen to friends. If you haven't got two-factor turned on, turn two-factor on. Um, hey, okay, here I <laughs> Thank you. Um, I like Facebook for uh, events and things, and like group chats. Group chats and events, like bringing people together, Facebook nails, but when it comes to things like just chatting with one person at a time and having conversations and fun banter and throwing gifts in there and pictures and fun videos, it's Snapchat and Instagram. It just is. That's, that's where the fun is. <laughs> Listen to... Uh, uh, is this... What is he doing to painting I'm not sure I'm using anything in a subtle way this is just me in New Zealand this is just this is just how I roll discord 
I get told about that. I'm not cool enough for it. I wish I was. Um, I've got some friends on it. I try to navigate it. I don't know, I get nervous in the chat room. Um, the thing about Discord is um, I was going to try and use that on Reddit when I was live streaming because there were a bunch of people making comments but I couldn't get to the comments fast enough and so the idea was to um, have Discord going so people could talk while I was painting and then I could keep painting and like talk at the same time. Um, yeah, didn't do it, too complicated, couldn't get off the ground. Um, if I was smarter, possibly, possibly, but I wasn't, so I didn't. Um, yeah, thank you Tej, appreciate you, I think that's fair. Um, is the bottle a pellet or a brush? It's a pellet. So it doesn't work for acrylics because they run, but with uh, oils, they'll just stick and be all tacky to the sides of the bottle, which is fun. And then I thought perhaps in the long term, I could get these bottles and go the whole way around them with the paint and then actually epoxy them or let them dry. And then you've got a funky little art bottle and you can put it on a shelf somewhere and do whatever with it. So it looks like you're standing on a 45 degree angle. I sort of am because the art's here. And so if I stand art there and I'm on a 45, it's like a V. So you can see the art and see me and then I can reach out and paint. I used to, I was such an idiot. I used to paint with a camera over here and so if all you could see was the back, my like back of my shoulder and couldn't even see the artwork. And then I realized, oh, it should go on the outside um, so people can actually watch. Um, yeah. So hindsight's 2020. Paint by numbers is all good. You go for gold. What's up? Go for gold. Go for gold. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. Sorry, just yarning with people. This is so cool. I might try that when I'm... Yeah, yeah. Um, another thing you can do if you're feeling tough is you can get a bottle with liquid in it. Um, water, whatever. Speaking of... Oh, I don't have it in that bottle, but... Have it over here. Voila. I used to paint with a whole lot of things like I still paint with coffee, although I kicked it over. Um, and uh, love painting with wine um, late at night. I love something on the rocks. That's always fun. But the um, thing I've found, if you're doing long sessions, six to eight hours sometimes you hit a wall and sometimes it's not actually a psychological wall it's a physical wall because you've just run yourself ragged on alcohol and caffeine water water is an absolute banger um, if you treat yourself like a bit of a sportsman and you drink lots of water while you're painting you can charge long distance I don't mean running long distance I mean like um, you can paint for long periods of time Sorry, I got lost in my yarn, and I wouldn't miss anyone's comment. Um, Australian, close, we are from New Zealand, so that's all good. We are painting some ugly layers on a board, and you'll have to excuse the whirring. Um, the oh, rain stopped for a brief moment, so. We're whipping out the drone briefly. It's a little baby drone, and I don't know how to fly it. Because, like I said, I'm a little bit of an idiot. So, I'd like to learn how to fly it. I like the videos of those drones that you get, that you um, grab and you can just toss, and they would like float around you in the air. Um, always had a dream of like, going kayaking with one of those and doing something fun like that. but. But I didn't, didn't, I haven't, I haven't. Maybe I will, maybe one day, maybe one day. I think there's a fly on your phone. A fly on my phone, is there? It might be a drop of water. Is it messing it up? Oh, sorry, yeah, so that, <laughs> the noise. Um, that's a drone, so 
We got a little drone doing a little bit of a lap around the place. We'll have to excuse it, it's doing its thing. Um, it's pretty cool actually, it films pretty good quality stuff and it, um, yeah, it sort of captures more of the landscape than I can from my phone. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, an, it's a manual thing which is a bit niggly. How many days do you go to the gym? I don't actually go that much anymore. Um, I wish I did, but probably, probably like three days, three days. textures so a lot of big textures here. Quick brush strokes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry guys. Loving the rainy days, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. The uh, We're looking at getting a drone that's way quieter. But right now, it's a noisy fella. It's a noisy fella. <laughs> um, a horde of wasps. I hate wasps. I absolutely hate them. So, they are a niggly thing. Hey Alex, you'll need a bail on the drone, it's too noisy. Sorry bro. Got your back guys. <laughs> it's a noisy, noisy thing. Um, twist while we paint. Yeah, it's pretty fun, it's pretty fun. Um, I'm trying to follow the comments, but I think I missed the first ones, so I'm not quite sure. Do you sketch it out? No, 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 no guidelines whatsoever. So it's all just wild. Um, we all do it. We do it wild to start with because um, if you do guidelines to start with, you get way too stuck into what uh, you can get too intense at the start. Don't be too intense at the start. Just literally have some fun slap around some paint and the detail and the repositioning of things can come later and part of the fun of a picture is when there's an object which you've painted man, just i'm using this as an example you've painted it and you painted it on this angle or it's off center and then you realize that and you move it back to where it's supposed to be and you've got these lines which are still where the previous object was and like that's sort of like You've painted it, you've had fun painting it, you've acknowledged there's a mistake, and you've moved it, and this, yeah, I think it's sort of a human thing. It's cool to do that. It's, um, yeah, it's wholesome. Um, I used to get into this terrible habit of going, right, well, it's slightly on the wrong place, but we're going to tolerate it because, uh, yeah, we'll just link these lines together and let the proportions be slightly out. Just let it... Um, uh, just put the lines exactly where you think they should be and you'll love the painting more at the end. Bob Ross went to the gym. That's, that's a funny one. <laughs> I'm on board with that. I see two horses. Um, 
We've got, we shouldn't be able to see anything yet, but you're wild for being able to do that. I do have family. In fact, it was the, um, my brother flying the drone who was doing that when we lost everyone who was watching because it sounded like an evil bee. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Um, but he's really, really good at flying the drone. So we had fun. Um, he talked. Yeah, I do. I like expression. So I like to, helps me too if I'm nervous. I can talk with my body, use my hand gestures. So if I give a speech, um, yeah. Usually if I stay still and just speak, I'll lose my trail of thought. But if I use my hands, it's sort of like you're forcing more words out of you. You look like a gym. <laughs> Don't do that to me. Um, I am a 12th of January. What's that? It's my birthday. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, I definitely see a horse. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so there should be... We're putting most of our attention right now on this area through here. And what we're doing is we're trying to build up um, layers in these trees. Because at the end, you're only going to see the trees at the front. But we can have a texture of the trees at the back. So there's little opportunities to have some fun with that. Let me just get some water off this bottle. Ah! Oh no. <laughs> we just lost our green paint. I'll grab it. There we go. Come back! There we are. Gotcha. We want green. There we are. Cool. I was told I'd be a great stewardess because I use like Yes! Yep. I think it helps too if you can't quite hear what someone's saying to see their hand gestures and so you can actually sort of follow what they're thinking or yeah to a degree to a degree what is behind the girl what is behind the girl is it going to be water um so about here on the painting so about here it swaps from being tall trees into being forest floor but the forest floor has been hit with a lot of light and so it's more white so I'm not sure how that's going to look, but time will tell. Um, our only job, really, is to not think about it. We've chosen the image. The image will be the image, no matter how or what we think about it. All we have to do is keep spotting colours and hues and putting it where we think it goes. And if we do just that, the painting will turn out in the end. Capricorn, that's what I am. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I missed a comment there and had a question mark. What is... Oh, sorry, that was what is the girl in the thing. Yeah. Look. I am super happy. My cup is full. I've got an amazing group of friends. I've got an amazing family. Um, I get to find time to paint out in New Zealand nature. How wild is this? How ridiculous is this? Um, do I do this full time? I do not. I do it like half my time. I am moving to full time, um, which is a huge risk. But this is all uh, this is all fun. Um, even if I can't paint full time, the ability to be able to paint leisurely—that's cool. You know, that's a really cool place to be in life. Um, so, yeah. Short answer, I am super happy. Super stoked, and I hope you are too. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> you should do this. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. Um, I have seen, actually, advertised in Tauranga. They do this thing called, um, like, painting classes, but they're with wine. Um, I used to do them when I was younger where you'd actually have like a group of 10 or so people and everyone would have like a bottle of wine and you have a canvas and you'd paint like, I don't know, some tomatoes or just a fun little still life. 
had nothing to do with the art. I mean, it did sort of, but it was more about having some wine, playing some music and having an activity. But it was a good activity because it's not like, uh, it's not like a lot of other activities in that with art, since it's subjective, everyone's doing a great job. <laughs> and so everyone has fun. And you take your painting home with you and you're away. Um, depends, usually a painting will take seven hours. Seven hours is where I say the perfect window is. But I say seven hours, because it should be seven sessions of an hour, and then you're right there on the money. Um, oh no. Um, we just got flagged for something like hateful behavior. I wouldn't offend anyone. Um, or maybe someone said something mean, I don't know. Oh well. Hopefully it's okay now. Um, it depends. I would love to do... I love doing portraits. Portraits are amazing. I'm a huge fan. Um, usually the people I like to paint most are actually seniors. Um, oh my god, flagged. I'm not sure what that means, but I really hope I didn't do anything wrong. Um, yeah, so, so seven hours, but you do them in little stints. Um, so that's the way you do it. But um, so I recommend some more. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, seven hours, but it's in little stints. So this one here we'll do about two hours on. And then after two hours, the paint's going to get too thick. We're going to have to pause. And we're gonna to have to come back to it. Will be the go. How to get into painting? My mum got me into painting when I was a little tacker. Um, she noticed that I was fairly creative, like a little black sheep of the family, and she pursued uh, art for me in classes, schools, tutors, all that sort of stuff. So I have her to thank for even been remotely good at art because she's her little spark in a two-year-old so that's on her um have you thought about live streaming this on twitch i've thought i dabbled on twitch i like the portrait better portraits better because you can see the canvas and you can see everything going on but with landscape there's just space out to each side that i'm not using so it's a little bit niggly um dabbled on youtube as well but usually I just upload shorts to YouTube, just like little fun videos. In short, I've got no idea what I'm doing. Um, I've got a website, sell some artwork on the website. Um, website's getting repaired at the moment, not repaired, upgraded. Apart from that, we're just here having some fun. Um, why? Lone, art, can be a, art, bad, bad, bad. art can be a lonely endeavor. And sitting by yourself for seven hours and painting is a real psychological barrier a lot of the time to actually getting art done. Um, I can commend anyone who can do it. But for me, doing art on Reddit live on the Artfan Studio, that went hard. Um, YouTube, Twitch, um, TikTok at the moment. Connecting with people while you're making art, that's, that's part of the fun. If you've got the confidence to do it, it's great to do it. Um, big fan of it. So, yeah. I remember when I was when I was first doing it. It was uh, on Reddit, and it was just like me and there were like three or four people there, and it was fun. We're just yarning. I'm making some art. Uh, different places around the world, and then we looked back at the screen. It was like twenty five thousand viewers, and I just choked. <laughs> I just choked. Um, like I, I, could, I couldn't even speak, like I just started smiling. I didn't, I, I didn't know what to do and the comments just started coming up and I panicked and I think I, I didn't turn the stream off but I nervously went back to just painting. Like I couldn't, I couldn't, it was, it was a lot. Um, that was when our pan studio was showing up as like on the front page of Reddit and it was just pure chance. It was wild, it was a whole thing. But um, hi from Indonesia, I love your country. Choked as in like, like um fumbled um i i didn't know it was just me and like 
five people from random places of the world hanging out and then there were just 25,000 people just watching. I, it was a lot. <laughs> um, Indonesia, love Bali, love Lombok, love the Gillies, the three little islands off Lombok. Favorite Gilly Air, favorite place on planet Earth. That's phenomenal. Um, I don't paint full time, but I'm about to start uh, end of this year. Oh, yuck, got distracted. Put my hand in the paint. Um, the yeah, so I've been painting part time, about 20, 30 hours a week, at the moment, but I'm falling behind on commissions. People have been waiting too long. Um, I've had to decline people, and that's no fun. So John Cena, he could be here. Maybe you can't see him. Um, the but net, so I've, I've reduced hours at my other job. I'm now going into painting to about 45 to 60 hours a week. And hopefully I can keep up with the commissions and things like that. Because it's no fun when you ask for a commission and it takes months or like weeks to do. Like, well, you want art, you want it now. Bang. It'd be great if I just had the time and capacity. So we've probably got enough. Now, nah, this is a fun piece. Um, someone really cool asked for a picture of her with her horse and I'm like I'm on board I'll do that so here we are doing that but um, yeah because we've got a couple of pieces on the go but they're drying so it's good to have a like I do about 10 15 at once um, but in terms of I was gonna say commission pieces we've probably got enough right now I've got enough right now to do the next I can fit in another four or five pieces, but I've, 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 I've got enough to keep me going until about the next three months, until about March. Um, but you can keep slotting more in there because since they're drying, you can have, you know, you're doing about nine or 10 each day. Um, and that's all good. You're like, oh, that's great, go full time. But then you think, what happens when we get to March or June, July-ish and no one else wants a painting? Now you're in trouble, so it's gonna be a bit of a leap of faith, but yeah, hopefully over the next sort of two or three months while I'm making those other commissions, more people want paintings and then it will just start the ball rolling and I'll be able to buy myself bread to eat and water to drink. Hopefully. Otherwise, you might run into me at your local fast food store, offering you fries with that. I can't wait. It's one of the two things. I'm a huge fan of that song, Barbie Boy. That is a fantastic song by Big and Rich. Um, that sounds like a lot of work and stressful. I hope it goes out, goes out well. Yeah, it is. It is a little bit. Um, in terms of, it was sort. It's sort of. I sort of haven't got a choice because if I don't do it, I'm turning down the. What? I saw a. Um, I was in Barcelona. Don't travel that often, but I traveled to Barcelona. And in Barcelona, there was a MoCo, which is like a gallery with Banksy and some Picasso and big fancy place. Um, Salvador Dali had some stuff in there, but it was called MoCo. And there was this quote above the door um, on your way in. And it said, and it applies all over the show. It sounds really cheesy. Bear your, brace yourself, because it's like one of those live, laugh, love things, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. It said, take the risk or lose the chance. Take the risk or lose the chance. Yeah, take the risk or lose the chance. And you thought, oh, that's actually quite good. That's pretty relevant, so. Anyway, we're taking the risk so we don't lose the chance. Um, I could be a geography teacher, except I'm so terrible with places. I get lost everywhere I go. If my Google Map disconnects, uh, my, my Google Maps disconnects, I'm lost immediately. Just lost. How big are the Kiwis? The Kiwis are the same size as the rest of the world. In fact, I went to Europe and I saw in all the supermarkets kiwi fruit made in New Zealand, um, from New Zealand, and I was like, that's nuts. That's the same kiwi fruit that I have in New Zealand, and it costs way less. I don't speak any other languages. Always take the risk. Well, you know, 
do it on a case by case basis. Imagine the value add and what you could stand to lose, obviously. But in this case here, painting makes me really happy. I want to paint, and so I'm going to paint. And if it doesn't work out, that's all right. At least I'll be broke and I can say I tried. That's all good. I don't want to be in a position where I was like, oh, yeah, people wanted paintings and I was sort of dabbling and then I decided not to do it. And I'm really enjoying my corporate job now. Like, corporate's fun, done corporate, but painting's mean. Making something with a craft that you can give to someone who gets fulfillment from it, that's special. It really is special. Have you been to Bluff? I have. Good oysters in Bluff. Big fan. I do ship to the US. Um, it's expensive though, because they do it on volume a lot of the time. Volume, and sometimes, like the weight's quite low a lot of the time, but volume's big. Depending on the piece, um, yeah, you can get up there, but once I've got the website up, the shipping calculator, you'll be away. You'll know. What country do you want to visit? Oh my god, you ask all the big questions. Honestly, I love America. I think America's fantastic. I love Indonesia. The Gillies are fantastic. Canada. Canada's amazing. Where else is good? Europe was fun. I do love ah, America and Indonesia. Two favorite places on the planet. Easily. Are you standing on a hill? More of, more of a mound. UK? Do ship to the UK. Um, where have I shipped to in the UK before? Amsterdam. That's the one place. But everywhere else, I haven't. I've only done Amsterdam in the UK. Um, done a bunch of places in the US. And it was really fast. Once I actually got the uh, artwork boxed and with the courier, it was like in the states like at their doorstep in like a week and a half it was nuts so that was really cool um i can't burp on command i'm so sorry i wish i could no oh, i don't wish i could that's an ability that i that's an ability i've never envied to be fair i missed a few question marks there sorry guys ah oh, sorry yes i'm thinking of europe um no i've never shipped to the united kingdom ever um i'm sorry but yeah, sorry guys, I got tripped up. I'm an idiot. And it is raining, but it's all good. It's actually quite humid, so it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Here it comes. What states were you in America? I've been to every state. I'm not a model at all. Um, but I've been to every state. Most of my time in Maine. I love New York City. Um, Wyoming. <laughs> That's my favorite state. Definitely. How do I get a... How do I get massive and good at painting like... <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Um, with painting, you just start. Um, that sounds weird. With painting, just do what feels right. Practice, practice, practice. Don't let anyone else tell you to have fun while you're painting. You do it the way you want to do it. And then people might like your individual style, but you have to like it first. You have to like the way you do things. You have to like your own style. You have to love your own art. Two states away from Miami. There you go. Um, because, uh, was like I was saying about the um, Beethoven piece before, if you genuinely love your art so much that you want to refund the person and keep the art, that's when you know that the painting's reached the right space, that actually you've made something special because if you feel emotionally like you want to keep it, now you've got a style that you love. Um, and if you genuinely love it like that, other people will. Like, it'll be infectious. How could it not be? Um, yeah. 
So there's my two cents on that. I hope I articulated that well. I may not have. All right, you pack of wild cats. That is my paint out. Like I was saying, um, the starting coat, we are just working with wild textures. Um, so you won't be able to make out the picture just yet, but you, we, we'll put down the texture so that later on there'll be fun stuff to see with light on different angles and things like that. Um, if you're really perceptive, and I mean, you know, you have to look for it, you might see a horse with a woman with her hands up um, touching the nose of it, and then there'll be trees in the background. But again, we'll only work to texture. So when we come back to it, we can start putting more stuff in there and really building it up. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Glitch. Oh well, if you swipe, you should be able to skip it. <laughs> um, what would you describe your artistic style? Um, abstract. We're trying to, I'm trying to get halfway to showing off the picture and halfway to just having fun with paint. And then if you can strike that balance, that's where physical paint comes into its own. So that's where we want to get to. Um, anyway though, guys, um, I'm going to disappear. I've got my other job to get to. Um, I'll be there for about seven or eight hours. And then I might come back and if this is dry enough, I'll do another smashing round on it at uh, 11 p.m. ish. So if you're around, that's cool. If you're not, hey, it's been a real thrill having you here and appreciate everyone getting involved and wherever you are in the world, have a great day or a great night. Um, yeah, pow. Thanks guys. Um, now I need to figure out how to end it. If I can, I swipe that way. There we go. I think that's the button. Is that the button? Oh my god, my fingers are wet. Oh, bear with me, guys.